It's the middle of the night, everything is quiet, but then far above the earth, a silent shape slices through the air. It's nearly invisible. You can't hear it and you can't see it. It's like a ghost moving in the dark. This flying machine is not just any plane, it's a bomber. And it can drop weapons powerful enough to change the course of history, yet it vanishes like a shadow. It's one of the most secret and expensive aircraft ever made. Each one costs about $2 billion. But how did something so large and powerful become so quiet and invisible? How did this aircraft even get made? To understand this, we have to go back in time, back to when the world was on the edge of war, but no one wanted to fire the first shot. The year is 1975. The Cold War is at its peak. This was a time when the United States and the Soviet Union didn't trust each other at all. They were both building more and more nuclear weapons. Neither side wanted to start a war, but both were preparing just in case. One wrong move and everything could go up in flames. To make sure the Soviet Union didn't strike first, the United States kept its most powerful bombers ready all the time. These weren't small planes, these were huge flying machines, known as the B-52 bombers, that could carry bombs strong enough to destroy entire cities. Some of these bombers were kept flying around the clock, others stayed on the ground, engines running, ready to take off at a moment's notice. The B-52s were always on alert, showing that the U.S. was ready to fight back if needed. This was how America tried to scare the Soviets into not attacking first. But there was a problem. The Soviets weren't just sitting around. They had built new and powerful air defense systems. These systems could shoot down bombers easily. Even a U.S. Air Force general admitted that sending B-52s into Soviet airspace would be suicide. The old bombers were too big, too loud, and too easy to find. It didn't matter how many bombs they carried if they couldn't even get past enemy defenses. So, what could be done? The United States needed something new, something that could sneak past even the best radar systems. They needed a bomber that could fly through enemy skies without being noticed. And that's when everything changed. In 1978, the U.S. Air Force started a top-secret plan. It was called the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, or ATB. Their goal was to build a bomber that didn't just fly, but also disappear. It was the biggest challenge in modern military aviation. If America didn't have a bomber that could sneak past Soviet defenses, it couldn't strike back if it were ever attacked. So, the U.S. had to act fast. And little did anyone know, the answer to this challenge had already been imagined over 30 years earlier. Back in 1946, right after World War II, while most Americans were thinking about cars and building houses, one man had a wild idea. His name was Jack Northrop. Instead of thinking like everyone else, he was swallowed up in deep thoughts about wings. Not just regular wings, but a plane made entirely of wings. No tail, no body, just one smooth, flying shape. In 1947, the YB-49 took flight. It had a wingspan of 50 meters and was powered by jet engines. It was way ahead of its time, but it had a big flaw. It was too hard to control. Without a tail, it was unstable. This got the U.S. Air Force dissatisfied, prompting the destruction of the entire YB-49 plane created. It was a sad moment for Jack Northrop, who saw his life's work reduced to nothing. But history has a strange way of coming full circle. When the ATB program began in 1978, many companies tried to win the contract, but in the end, the winner was Northrop Corporation, the same company Jack had founded. The flying wing had come back from the dead, this time, it had computers, secret materials, and the full support of the U.S. government behind it. This wasn't just a second chance. It was a rebirth of the dream that was destroyed in 1949. As Northrop Corporation won the contract, its engineers got to work. They embarked on the impossible mission to build a huge bomber that no radar system could see. It had to fly far, carry heavy bombs, and sneak into enemy territory without being noticed. The shape that Jack Northrop once believed in was about to change the world. This is the birth of the B-2 Spirit, one of the best stealth aircraft ever built. The B-2 Spirit doesn't look like a normal airplane. It has no tail, no body sticking out, and no sharp angles. Instead, it looks like a giant black wing, which sprang out of a science fiction movie. But the design isn't just for show. Every curve, every smooth edge, and every angle serves a purpose. The B-2's design is carved to make it invisible to radar. It is not like regular airplanes, which have parts like tails, engines, and cockpits that stick out and create surfaces that bounce radar signals back to the radar station. 
talking about radar, let's take a backward leap into history. In the late 1930s, a new technology called radar changed everything about weapons of modern warfare. Although it was first discovered in the 19th century by a German scientist, it was not used in warfare until the 20th century. As a matter of fact, the radar technology was regarded as a top secret project before the Second World War. It worked by sending out radio waves and then listening for the echoes. If something like a plane flew by, those waves would bounce back. Then a tiny dot would appear on a radar screen showing where the plane was. This dot is called a radar cross-section. It shows how visible something is to radar. The bigger the dot, the easier it is to find the object. But here's the thing, not everything with a big size shows up big on radar. With clever design, even large objects can appear small on radar. That's exactly what makes the B-2 so special. Can you believe that a plane as wide as a basketball court can show up on radar the same way a large bird does? It sounds impossible, but it's true. That's because of how it's built. Let's look into the B-2's unbelievable architecture. To understand how the B-2 became the quiet ghost in the sky, we need to look into how its shape, materials, and engines all work together to keep it hidden. A single, wide wing makes the B-2 more efficient in the air. It can glide through the sky with less drag, saving fuel on long missions. The skin of the B-2 spirit is coated with special materials. These aren't regular paints or metal panels. They're radar-absorbing materials, also called RAM. When radar waves hit the surface of the B-2, instead of bouncing off, they get absorbed. Nobody knows exactly what these materials are made of, as it is still top secret. But we do know that they are so sensitive and important that they have to be reapplied often to keep the plane fully stealthy. This stealth skin is one of the reasons the B-2 is so expensive to maintain. The surface of the B-2 is also designed to be super smooth with barely any seams or gaps. This makes sure radar signals have nowhere to bounce, as even tiny edges could reflect radar. But there's a big problem with this kind of design. Flying wings, like the B-2, are not naturally stable in the air. On regular planes, the tail helps keep everything balanced. Without it, flying can be wobbly and dangerous. However, the B-2 could pitch or yaw, twist side to side, without warning. When a plane pitches, it simply tilts forward or backward. And when it yaws, it twists side to side. Now imagine the B-2 pitching and yawing without warning or against the intention of the riders. Such a situation will only end in tragedy. To solve this, engineers use a system called fly-by-wire. Instead of the pilot making every movement, a computer helps control the plane. This system makes tiny changes all the time adjusting the wings and surfaces so the B-2 stays level and on course. The computers are so advanced and secret that almost no one knows exactly how they work. Because of fly-by-wire, the B-2 can perform moves no one thought possible for a plane of its size. It can fly steadily and smoothly, making it even harder for enemy radar or heat sensors to track. And then there's the engines. Most jet engines are easy to spot because they shine and spin. But on the B-2, the engines are hidden deep inside the body. The air intakes are placed on top of the wing, not on the sides like most planes. This keeps radar from bouncing off the spinning engine parts. The exhaust, or where the hot air comes out, is also designed to be top secret. It's cooled and spread out over a wide area so heat sensors can't spot it easily. And what about the materials used to build the body? The B-2 is made from a special carbon graphite composite. It's lightweight, strong, and almost invisible to radar. Each part of the plane was made separately and then joined together with perfect accuracy. If even one panel was a little out of place, the whole stealth design could fail. On November 22, 1988, the B-2 Spirit was revealed for the first time. The moment it rolled out of its hangar, jaws dropped. People couldn't believe what they were seeing. This wasn't just a new plane. This was a new kind of plane. Everything about the B-2 was cutting edge. It had over 130 onboard computers controlling nearly every part of the aircraft. These computers didn't just help the pilot fly, they controlled the flight path, weapon systems, stability, stealth features, and more. But how useful is this airplane monster in terms of warfare? Let's explore. The B-2 Spirit can fit 20 tons of bombs inside its belly. But these bombs aren't just regular bombs. Some are nuclear weapons, and others are precision-guided bombs, making it part of America's most powerful defense plan. One example is the GBU-57 Bunker Buster, a bomb so big it weighs 15 tons. This weapon is made to destroy underground bunkers, even if they're hidden deep beneath the Earth. The B-2 can fly in quietly, 
drop the bomb, and be gone before anyone even knows it was there. The B-2 can fly 11,000 kilometers on a single tank of fuel. And if the mission is even longer, the B-2 can refuel in the air, which means it can technically fly anywhere on Earth without ever having to land. Despite all these amazing features, the B-2 isn't the fastest plane. It cruises at about 901 kilometers per hour, which is still very fast. It flies at altitudes as high as 50,000 feet, which is almost two times the height of Mount Everest. And get this, it only needs two crew members, a pilot and a mission commander to take off. Even if GPS fails, the B-2 can still navigate using the stars. It can fly through bad weather in daytime or nighttime and still reach its target with amazing accuracy. Its radar system is so advanced that it can avoid mountains and rough terrain automatically. But all this stealth and power come with a price. Each B-2 bomber costs about $2 billion to make. So why is it so expensive? First, the technology is top secret and extremely advanced. Second, only 21 B-2s were ever made, which means the cost for each one stayed very high. Third, maintenance is a huge job. The special skin that absorbs radar has to be reapplied and repaired regularly to keep the plane fully stealthy. And on top of all that, the B-2 keeps getting upgraded. But even the most legendary machines must one day pass the torch. The US military knows that the B-2, as powerful as it is, won't fly forever. That's why they're already building its replacement, a new plane called the B-21 Raider. The B-21 Raider is being designed to do more, cost less, and be easier to take care of. It will still be stealthy, but it will also be smarter. Some people say it will be the world's first sixth generation aircraft, something that has never existed before. On June 21st at exactly 2.30 in the morning, Something extraordinary happened in the skies above Iran. Without warning, the quiet hum of engines that no one could hear began cutting across the night. Three B-2 stealth bombers were on their way. Their target? Three of the most heavily protected nuclear sites in the world, Fordo, Natanz, and Isfahan. Each of the B-2 bombers carried something huge and powerful, the GBU-57B Bunker Buster Bomb. The mission took nearly 30 hours and is one of the longest bombing operations in years. The bombers had to refuel in midair multiple times. No alarms, no alerts, until the bombs began to fall. The goal was simple, cripple Iran's nuclear progress. With an attack this bold, what if Iran strikes back? Apparently, Iran had invested heavily in its defense system. It owns Russian-made S-300s and maybe even S-400s, long-range missile systems built to shoot down enemy planes. After the bombs fell, radar sites across Iran lit up in panic. But by then, it was too late. The B-2s were already gone. The strike has already started to ripple through the global economy. Oil prices are climbing, markets are nervous, and tensions are rising. A single mission might turn into a chain reaction. Please subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this adventure. See you in the next video.